Hello everyone, it's Farkid here. And in this episode of Stranded Deep, I'm going to finish the game. But first I'm going to do a couple of things, and that is put the trophies up. See what goes there. It's a bit big. <laughs> it fits. So it's like you carry it around on you. This is going to look jank, but I'm going to put it in the middle. Ah, there we go. Call me Ahab. I wonder if you can put it on this thing. No. Of course you can't. It looks stupid. Now, I went and did some testing and things while I wasn't recording because it was just boring stuff. But I managed to kill four sharks in one day. I think I worked it out. If you save and exit, the sharks will respawn. But after I got five, I went searching twice around the whole island. I couldn't find any sharks. It probably needs a little bit more testing than that. So yeah, if you kill the two sharks that are around your island, there's going to be more. What is that? There's three tigers and two hammerheads. Farms started growing back when it rained. So once they die, they can still be recovered. They just need water. These are all the snakes I got. In the end, got a fair few. So it doesn't matter if you don't carve up their bodies, they're still going to keep respawning. I never got a great white or a marlin. I tried. Marlins keep running away and I couldn't find a great white. Oh, it's not fun. It's so sad. Great whites are really rare, eh? But it's time to leave. I hope I've got everything. Do I need to craft the story stuff? Ah, oh, so it's like a part like that. <laughs> it just says awesome. Funny. I laugh. Yeah, it's making me think because uh, I also found a lot of... Oh, it's turning for me. The rock. Oh no, it stopped turning. I need to go that way. I also ran into a few whale sharks, but as soon as you damage them, they run away. So my nephew Connor, I don't know how he did it. I don't know how he killed one. He was visiting. I said, if you kill one, I'll include it in a video. I don't think he'd honestly kill one. But he said it just kept returning, so yeah. Oh, I mentioned this in a previous video, but it can be done. I've also noticed that if a whale spawns between two islands, I haven't seen something else that spawns. Oh, I'm stuck on the whale. Move. So if there's a whale there, it's probably safe, I'm going to say. I also found out about the stats thing. You can actually see how your stats are progressing, but you've got to access a file. I'll put up a link to how to find this file. You can see the exact numbers, and even if you wanted to, you could change them to their max limit. I don't know if that would work, because I haven't done it, but getting hunting is definitely the hardest, from what I found. I nearly got cooking up to max, but net, that in itself took a very long time as well. I probably would have had to cook for another 10 minutes, but I just couldn't be stuffed since I was finishing up the game. But I'll show you a screenshot of my stats as they are probably after this game, which won't increase because I'm not going to be doing anything that's relevant to them. I'm assuming if you change it to one under the max amount and then go and do something to level that, say for instance hunting, go and spear a sardine or something, it will go to max level. Though that's cheating, probably doesn't interest anyone. Hunting's the one that's going to be just so brutal to do. And apparently hunting sardines is the fastest way. Testing and stuff, I don't think I want to go into that much depth for this game as I did with the forest. Okay, I think I'm lost. That's where the shark boss was. I didn't see the aircraft carrier while I was coming over this way. Yeah, that's where the shark one, the megalodon, that's not really a megalodon. I'll just stop it at this island here, eh? And I'll save because why not? Now I've got no idea where I am. Ah, uh, what time is it? Ah, uh, I'll figure it out. Okay, so that's the big island that I stopped at before I went and killed the megalodon. I'll call it the Great White Shark Plus because that's pretty much all it was. Maybe S Plus. It's all about the branding, mate. So if I turn around, I think the aircraft carrier is that way. Okay, I'm officially lost. I think I've gone to the edge of the map. I wasn't really paying attention to what I was doing. So I'm just going to pull up sleep and go from there. Should have just exited and went and looked at the map. It's all right, I could draw out this video for another minute. Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, I'm not going to do it at night time. I'll just pull up here. That's oh, close. Don't have to worry about going to the map. Anchor. I need food. I'm just going to use this because I won't be needing it. Oh, I thought I'd sleep quickly. I've seen these in the map editor. What is it? Oh, it's Wally. Special package achievement. Uh, Tom Hanks. More kindling. Ah, oh, nothing special in there. Okay. Rip in peace, Mr. Tom Hankinsaw from Castaway. What is this? Just says awesome. A lot of katana pieces here. I should have built one this island. Oh, damn it. I didn't bring any of my spears with me. Oh wait, there they are. I can watch the sunrise. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. I can have a lot more of the graphical settings up higher as well. They're all at max as far as I know. Sitting at 90 frames per second, mate. Oh yeah. Okay, save. 
I put some of the things away. I've noticed that if you wanted to go that way, if you put the sail on and turn at the same time, it just doesn't work. It's not very realistic. You'd think it'd pull you that way and drive forward at the same time, but now just conflict with each other. It's almost like having a sail going backwards switched on and trying to go forwards at the same time with the engine. It doesn't work. Okay, here we are. Instead of turning it a million times with the engine, I'm just going to use this. All right, so what do I need? I need that and that. Saved. I wonder if I need shark repellent for the plane. Where's the elevator? This is annoying. Okay, so I did do water. I didn't do food. Apparently you can use the raw stuff as well. You don't need to um, cook it or anything. So there's two crabs that are down there. Okay, fuel. So two full containers of fuel. That's what you need. And it's time for the parts. Fix. Ba bum boom Okay, so the propeller and the cockpit. What do you do now? I think it's done. Go home. Nah, I think I can get a few more episodes out of this. No, I'm just kidding. I'm pretty done with the game. <laughs> it gets too repetitive. All right, so let's do this. No, I'm scared. Save. Oh, you don't need a bed. So that's a good way to save making a bed is that you just build the plane up and you have a safe spot. Yes. Alrighty. Let's see what this ending looks like in 4k Fuck. That was so cringe, mate. Jesus Christ. Oh, why do you do this to me, man? Why do you do this to me? It almost makes Game of Thrones Season 8 look like a good ending to a series, mate. <laughs> oh, there's so much better they could have done with this. Why? Why? Well, if you think about it, how could they have ended it with what they've set themselves up with? It's pretty... Pretty messy, but still they've gone down the supernatural route, so it's not like it's believable, it's not like it's real. Ah, YouTubers and streamers, eh? We've got PewDiePie, Jack Skeptikai, Broadbent. Where's the Outer Metal Show? <laughs> He's done heaps of videos on this game. So have I. What the <laughs> if you're a game dev, don't do this.
Just don't put any, don't put anyone in here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Jack Skeptica and PewDiePie probably would have done like one video on this and then get in the credits. And you get people like out of middle shows probably done like 30 videos, 40 videos. Even I have. <laughs> We're not included. <laughs> I absolutely hate this game. <laughs> oh, this is so cringe, mate. Jesus Christ. Oh, just stop. Just stop. Make it go away. <laughs> Oh, oh, just, just no, stop. <laughs> Make the bad people go away, mummy. <laughs> oh, that's even cringy in itself. Okay. I was going to do a review, but oh man, this is just, just no, no, man. Just take it away. I'm not going to tell the devs what to do, but God, this, this game, mid to late game is just absolute trash in this. And for a survival game, that is not a good thing. The grind is just so repetitive and boring, it's the exact same thing over and over. You can't automate any of it, you've got to do everything manually. It's just stupid. This is really fucking, it's really stupid, mate. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, just stop. Make the pain go away. But I'm not going to say anymore. Man. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.